What's up, y'all? How you doing? Welcome to Yukon Uncut. We haven't done one of these in a while, have we? Well, like a week. <laughs> nah, I haven't done one in a while. Yeah, it's been like a week. Anyway, how y'all doing tonight? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Um, Published a new video yesterday. Chapter 19. Uh, it seems like a lot of people are enjoying that. Um, top video as far as likes go. 36 likes so far. So awesome. That's that's great. Fantastic. A lot of views. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, getting more and more subscribers every day, y'all. We are 175 right now. So it's going pretty well. But be that as it may, I kind of wanted to do a Yukon Uncut. I haven't done one for a little bit. Kind of just go over some stuff I've been doing, some stuff I've been working on in the toy loft. I uh, got some new pieces that I haven't even shown yet, shown yet, and uh, wanted to kind of go over those. And uh, if you've been on my Instagram, you probably have some idea what those are. And uh, just kind of wanted to show some new things that I've got, talk about a couple things, and really just catch up with y'all. So, let's do it. So, one thing that I've been... We're going to go freehand here, so I'm going to walk and talk. One thing I've really been doing is uh, kind of going over what I want to do with the toy loft. Um, tons of options here. I've got... I don't know if y'all probably saw way back a couple of couple of months ago, a few months ago probably, I did a collection video, which my collection is nowhere near some toy hunters. I, it's Most people, when they come up here, they see it and they're like, wow, that's a big collection. But I've seen some of y'all's and it's like, mine's little <laughs> compared to all y'all. So um, honestly, I've been trying to reconfigure some stuff. I actually got a new shelf that I really want to show y'all that I think is really cool. And um, kind of wanted to show that off. So, enough talk. Let's show you what I've been doing. Um, let's see how I'm going to do this. All right, well, there's the there's the Titans. So, the way my, my stuff is set up is that I have, like, an entertainment center here. Which I'm probably going to actually get rid of pretty soon. To get more shelving with lights and that stuff. But, as you all know, I don't do detals. Um glass with kids is no bueno for me um plus one thing that's really bad about my house is up here in the toy loft that's right above the garage so every time the garage door closes figures topple i don't want glass cases toppling y'all that would be bad so my idea what i saw on amazon is actually let me show y'all Sorry if it's Brett, but if you can see that right there, these are some really cool shelves you can find on Amazon. They're actually pre-lit. And I'm trying to show you and look at the screen at the same time. <laughs> but these are pre-lit. I've got my Transformers here. I used to have shelves on the wall, but um, let me go get the box. I can't even remember what the hell these are called. I got the box right here. I just put it together yesterday. Try to keep myself in the view here. These are called Fancy Edge. Fancy Edge Shelves. So there is the corner shelf right there. Comes with LEDs in it. Actually, let me show you how this kind of works. So you've got the LEDs. Down here, you got a little foot pedal there by Bruticus. Every time you push that foot pedal, turns it off. There's low light, high light, super high light. So there you go. Really cool. Kind of keeps you... It avoids you from having to do electrical and all that crap. I'm, I don't want to do all that. I don't. I don't need to do all that. So that's one cool thing that I think I'm really gonna get going into. Um, as far as this wall here, that's the transformer wall. I've sold some transformers lately, so it's decreased a little bit. But uh, that's probably gonna come down. Um, new easy shelves for the. I'm probably gonna replace that. And then behind me here, here's the Black Series collection. So we got the helmets. We got all the Black Series kind of set up. Not quite the way I want them yet, but close. So that's coming along. Um, Y'all notice I've been getting it wrestling. We got Rock and Hollywood there. Mr. Hulk Hogan. Got those there. Those are just taking up space for right now. Got some turtles. Got the new Masters. Y'all got to check out that new Skeletor. I've been ranting and raving how great he is, and he is great. And then a couple of bigger 
uh, transformers down there. Um, helmets up there. We got our Titans up here. Here's a new piece that I've actually gotten recently. That is Castle Grayskull. Um, don't pay $80 for it. That's the one piece of advice I can give you on that. I was um, not super happy on how cheap this thing is. It's cool, but I, I've been waiting for a clearance, and I never got a clearance in my area, so I just went ahead and did it. But 80 bucks. this is just, it might just be a straight-up reproduction of the one from, uh, what, 82, 83, whatever it was. Actually, it even feels cheaper than that. I had that one as a kid, and it feels pretty cheap. So, you know, y'all, I mean, if you can wait for a clearance on that one, I would recommend that. That's actually going to be filled up with a Wind Raider and one of the Shark Tanks and and that, that sort of thing. Then we got our DC, we got our Joes, we got some more DC. And then, you know, little area, my chair. That's really about it. I mean, that's that's my collection. It's fairly small. One other new thing that I've got is this. Now, y'all, as I've said before, NECA is such a love-hate relationship with me. I think this thing is cool. I do. I paid one ten for it on Big Bad. Think it's very cool. I actually did a little bit of customizing. I actually took my knife and scraped up the window. I do love how you can take the windows out. I've actually got a foot soldier ready to blow away Mikey right there. I do love the customization. Um, if this is going to stay here, it probably will. Just because it's harder than hell to find a shelf that's going to fit this. Um, again, it's limited space right here. So... I mean, I like this thing, but it was kind of a pain in the ass to put together. Maybe I didn't read the instructions right. I don't know. I didn't really read the instructions. I just started going at it. But, um, you know, there was stress fractures. Let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So inside here, there's tabs. And inside those tabs, there was already some stress fracture, uh, some stress marks to the plastic right out of the bubble wrap. So, you know, here we go again with NECA and, and that sort of thing. But, be that as it may, let's not get the light there. There, we'll stand right there. So, yeah, that's kind of where it's at. That's where the collection is. My thinking is this giant wall unit's probably going to go here soon. I'm um, actually thinking about getting a pull-down screen and a projector and then having this whole wall lined up with these shelf flats that you can see there, which I think would be really cool. So, there you go. That's just kind of a little tiny collection update where everything's at and how everything's going. So... So yeah, um, that's really about it. I'm um, going to have another video out here probably Friday. I've been doing these premieres. I have no idea if it's working or not. Um, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's so hit and miss with that kind of stuff. You never really know. And then um, got a, quite a good haul already for this week for Chapter 21. So we'll kind of go over that. And uh, get going for that. I, I got a lot. I will actually show you one item that I got today that I really want to show you. This thing's wicked. And first time I ever saw this was on Century TMC's uh, channel. He found one of these and I come in right away that that was a badass figure. And look at this thing, y'all. That thing is ridiculous. I don't really want to get into anything other than um, attitude error with these, if I said, as I've said. But this one... This took the cake, y'all. I actually found the Ultimate Fiend uh, today, too, at Target. So, no Boba Fett for me yet. My Walmart's blow. So, I'll see that probably in about two months. Probably the original date, December 2022. So, but cool figure. I mean, if you look at the back of the box, look at that. That's awesome, y'all. So, yeah, that's one figure that will be in the hall. Kind of a spoiler right there for y'all. But, nevertheless, pretty cool. We got some Amazon pickups. Got some Walmart pick, uh, Target pickups. Walmart. Pff, I barely buy anything at Walmart anymore because they never got nothing. So, there you go. So, just wanted to check in with y'all. We haven't done a Yukon on cutting a little bit. So, wanted to check in, say hi, and uh, kind of go freehand here. And, you know, maybe it's a little less wobbly than my hunt videos. But, um, all right, y'all. Well, I'll let you go. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the video. If you have any suggestions or any comments on the collection, what it looks like, any ideas, I'm all ears, y'all. 
the people's toy hunter remember yukon's a people's toy hunter so let me know let me know what you think um if you haven't if you've if you're new to the channel okay let's do this let's just go through this whole business thing if you're new to the channel and you would like to subscribe and you would like to like and comment hell go ahead that's fine i mean i always go comment like subscribe but a lot of people kind of try to sell it so i'll sell it today so there you go <laughs> i'm a man of voices y'all i'm a man of voices i may have to do some more voices for you eventually maybe maybe we'll do the old elmo voice and elmo goes toy hunting that'd be kind of cool but anyway Enough joking aside, y'all have a good night. I'll let you go. Enough messing around, and I'll see you in chapter 20. Y'all have a good night. Sign out, y'all.